what's up guys and welcome back to overkill gaming your home for high-end gaming whether it's pc ps5 or handheld we got you covered so lately i've been getting a lot of messages from people saying that they've been having issues getting the gears 5 workaround to work on steam os some people have asked hey has the, does this still work uh has the game been patched set so that it doesn't work anymore and i'm here to let you know that this still does work i tried it just the other day and i'm gonna show you guys step by step that this does still work and how easy it is to get it to work now this does only apply to the single player campaign of the game it does not apply to the multiplayer aspect of it okay so if you guys want to play the multiplayer you have to install windows in order to get that to work but for, for the single player campaign you can get it to work fairly easily and i'm going to show you guys once again that this does still work also guys if you guys have any issues getting this to work stop by our discord we're over there all the time helping people out answering questions and that's the best place to come if you guys need help or assistance with any of the tutorials you guys are running into trouble we'll, we'll do our best to help you out and also guys if you enjoy this video go ahead and drop a like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future content lots of great content on this channel for the steam deck cover pc ps5 as well you don't want to miss out on any of it all right so i'm actually recording this on christmas day i got people hitting me up saying hey we're having problems getting this to work using the methods that you showed in the video so i'm re-downloading the game so we can test it out again as you can see we just finished downloading the game and now we're switching on over to desktop mode and what we're going to want to do over here is make sure that we have proton 7 ge proton 7-17 downloaded and you can get that through protonup-qt, which I already have installed here, so I don't need to install it. But if you don't have that installed, then you're gonna wanna install it. And then once you have it installed, you just go into protonup-qt. And as you can see here, I have GE Proton 7-17 downloaded already. And if you don't have it, all you gotta do is go here, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see 7-17 right there as well as all of the other protons that are available for download some people have asked me does it work with other protons i don't know because i have never had to use another proton other than 7-17 to get this to work i've also gotten comments from people saying that once they've downloaded the proton it doesn't show up in steam you have to close steam all the way and then reopen it again for it to show up in the list so now the next thing we need to do is find Gears 5 in our list here. And we're going to look for the local files that are stored on the Steam Deck. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to hide the easy anti-cheat folder from the game. And that's going to keep it from uh, finding the easy anti-cheat folder, which is what's preventing the game from launching. So. All we have to do is locate it here and then rename it to anything. It doesn't really matter what you name it to. We're going to rename it as EAC. Real simple. And then once we've done that, we could just close out this window here and we're done. And that is literally all there is to it to get in this to work. From here, we can head back over to gaming mode and test everything out. All right, so here we are back in gaming mode. We're gonna go to Gears 5. I'm not editing anything out. You're seeing it just as it happens. We're gonna go down to properties, compatibility, and you'll see here I have GE Proton 7-17 selected as the Proton to force it to use when launching the game. And we are opening up the game now, and this is exactly what you should see when you open the game as well. Now, if it, for those of you who are playing this for the first time, you will probably be greeted with a window asking you to log into Xbox Live. But for those of us who have already played this game already, it's not gonna show that. Another thing that you will see when this game opens up is you will see a message appear on the screen saying that the game is unable to find the easy anti-cheat folder. And that is exactly what we are supposed to see. So don't be alarmed. I've had people say, hey, the game is telling me it can't find the folder. That's what that's it. 
that's what it's supposed to do. That's why we hid the folder in order to be able to get this far into the game and be able to play the single player campaign of the game. It will tell you when it, when the message comes on the screen, which will happen any second. Now it will tell you that online play will be disabled. And there it is right there. Error and easy anti cheat error failed to locate the file. Online play is not available. We're going to go into the campaign and continue where we left off. And you'll see that the game does work. All right, guys, and here we are. We are in the game. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. I hope that answers a lot of questions for everybody wondering if the game got patched, wondering if something changed, because as you can see, I did the exact same thing I did in the last video and it is still working. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos like this. And also don't forget if you have any issues, drop by and see us on our discord server. That's where we help people out. We don't really provide a lot of support in the YouTube comment section. All right, guys, that's it for us. We're out of here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.